If you live in Las Vegas, you've probably seen bunnies out and about, but where do they come from? We spoke with Bunnies Matter Rescue about the issue of invasive rabbits in the Las Vegas Valley. Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm with Bunnies Matter. We're standing right now here in our bunny barn. So why are there so many bunnies in Nevada? Well, we have a big, huge dumping problem. So a lot of uh, the domestic bunnies that you see were usually somebody's pet. And for whatever reason, they don't want the bunny anymore. So they decide to let it go. They think they're setting the bunny free, but they're actually just setting it out for food. Can you talk a little bit about bunny reproduction and how fast they reproduce? Well, um, so yeah, that's one thing. One of the reasons why we have so many in the dump sites is because bunnies can have uh, two litters at once every 30 days. So they can get pregnant. They have two uteruses, so they can get pregnant and have one set of babies. And then uh, a couple of days later, they can actually have another set. So they reproduce every 30 days. What are some of the conditions bunnies might face if released? Well, the biggest problem is obviously overpopulation. They also um, can push the wild bunnies and the cottontails and the jackrabbits out of their the ecosystem there where they're at because they don't get along. So a domestic bunny is not going to get along with a cottontail or a jackrabbit. They also can bring in predators, so uh, the bring the coyotes in um, because now there's more bunnies. So cottontails are different from domestic bunnies, right? Cottontails are definitely different. Um, domestic bunnies don't have the instincts to be able to survive in the wild. They cannot handle the heat, anything over 77 degrees. They have a problem with, and they don't pant, and they don't sweat, so they regulate the temperature with their ears. So that's a lot different than a cottontail, and then a jackrabbit is actually a hare, which is also a totally different species. After speaking with Bunnies Matter, we spoke with Krista, who lives on a bunny dump site. I live in a place where they have dumped, probably starting off with a pair of rabbits, but after four to five years, it has turned into well over a hundred. We have coyotes, they do not even hinder it. We also have four to five hawks that live in a tree literally across the road. They do not hinder it at all. Every four weeks, they can have a litter of anywhere from three to 15 has been the largest litter that we have seen ruining properties, ruining possible housing because it's hot out here. So they dig under and den under anything that you allow them to do. They will, I have horses. They, if my hay is not protected 100%, they will dig into my hay and rabbit urine is very dangerous for horses. Um, they also attract other pests like rodents. Rats eat the babies. It gets expensive. I myself, my family, takes care of as much of the rabbits as we possibly can, and we probably spend around $300 a month. There's, there's no way to even have anybody closely understand without seeing the proof of this is what two rabbits can do, is this entire mass population at my house just alone. And what can we do to help? The biggest thing um, is we need to um, change all of the spay and neuter laws. What happens is um, bunnies get sold at a pet store for $20 and then people don't realize that it could take two to three hundred dollars at an exotic vet to fix the bunny. So they don't want to put that money back into the bunny and that's what happens is then they get released and to go to a dump site. So the biggest thing is education and changing our laws.